What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. We are back on some MX bikes and I kind of expected this day to come. I just didn't know when it was going to happen. This is a track called Red Town Raceway and it is created by a guy called Hell Machine. Now he's the same person that created Swedish Midsummer Carnage and when that came out I thought we, we could have a new contender here for one of the big boys in track rating. Um, so it's been a little while since that track was released, and then this Red Town Raceway has come out of the blue. Uh, it certainly wasn't on my radar. I'm not sure if he'd posted any teasers or anything like that. Um, but it's essentially a compound. It's made up of uh, three different tracks on here. We have a massive motocross track. We then have a supercross track here, which looks so like smooth and flowy. I'm very excited to get on. And then over in the background over there, we've got a mini SX track, which was... Uh, meant to be like a kid's layout, IRL, uh, so we'll, we'll see how that plays. I'm going to be riding the Honda 250 today, as Hell Machine does say that he tested a lot of this out on the 254 strokes. Um, so let's hop into it, have some fun, and I'm actually really, really excited for this one. The jumps look so smooth and so flowy, and he has said himself that it's a very wide open track. I think we should probably start on the motocross track, just because it's the one that I feel like most people are going to be riding on. And this is all going to be first impressions as well, so I apologise if there's some absolute, like, I mean, look at the size of that, that triple to the left me that is huge uh, i apologize if there's some massive booters that i don't quite get right first time round of downsiding uh, but he said it's a pretty wide open track so i'm going to try and send as much as possible i'm not going to scrub too much i'm just going to keep an eye on the track map at the top right just to make sure that i end up heading in the right direction uh, if anybody is interested in what skin i'm using in this video there is no link for it at all yet it's something that i was personally messing around with in photoshop so it doesn't exist anywhere else oh my god okay that is the first sign of things to come um i i think i'm genuinely just gonna have to fully like yeet everything oh my god everything's got a massive extended bit as well i'm guessing there's short and long options for this track so maybe if you do hop on a 450 you won't be completely flat and everything this looks like a roller if ever us in one kind of is but into a nice flowy sand section now what i liked about Swedish Midsummer Carnage the Hell Machine made is it was very I don't know that it's, it's just it looks like the track when you'd go out first thing in the morning like perfectly graded perfectly groomed looks super super fast rail every single corner and the jump faces the transitions are so smooth as well that's one thing that I really noticed and oh my Christ so, yeah, some of these jumps are absolutely massive I thought Proboso was going to let me land a 360 there um possibly Bigger than I expected, especially since he said this works well on a 250. So, I mean, let me just... I'm going to send this, see where we end up. Oh! You go so high. This is ridiculous. So, for all of you boys that love getting absolutely seasy and getting upside down on your whips, I think I found the place for you. Uh, it does say it rides well on all bikes, although I can't see, uh, like, the, the 125s or any of the small bikes getting around here exceptionally well. At 450s, I'd have a nice fun time throwing it sideways, and then I think... Once I actually work out where I'm going on the 250 and how big these jumps are, we should be fine. Uh, this... Oh, no, no, no. God, I, I wanted to hit that corner well, because this is the huge triple. Oh, my Christ. Boing. Land it. Nope. I want to try that one jump again, because I completely messed up the corner. Uh, I knew what jump was coming up next. I just... I don't know. The braking bumps got me a little bit unsettled. So, there we go. We'll rail that much better. Uh, send it. Dab the brake in the air. Oh, perfect. Let's... Go. And you know, uh, another reason why this track is going to be good is uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. JV himself, who has brought us some absolutely incredible GP tracks so far this year, uh, was one of the people helping Hell Machine out on this with testing and so on. Um, so big W, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess. But Mr. Hell Machine is Swedish himself, based off the first track that he made. Um, and for some reason... The Swedes on this game are just very, very good track makers. I have no idea what it is, but there's that as a random bit of information for you. Oh, God, I forgot what jump we was on. Don't know how my suspension's taken that like a champ. Let's try the inside line here. Very smooth inside rut. Love that. And then we'll send it into the sand. We'll try and jump one deep. Lovely. And then I think if we go a little bit wider than that, we might be able to go at three deep through there. And, I mean, so far, I'm pretty sure you could go around the entirety of tra this track without shutting off. Look at the steez! Oh, my Christ. That could be screenshot worthy. Yep, definitely screenshot worthy, just like I thought. There you go. There's a... <laughs> There's the thumbnail for this video. I feel like I might screw myself over here, just pausing it and going into replay. There we go. It's fine. It was before a, a fairly small jump, so let's hook around to the left, around to the right. I feel 
So next lap, I'm going to try and fully send that one and see if I can get over the uh, the triple rather than just doubling it. Uh, got a nice little split section here. This jump was also a big old send. There we go. And then you can triple into here. I feel like it's going to be quite easy to overdo that triple, especially when you uh, start going up to the 450s and such. But, but so far, it's okay. I think that there is the one jump on the entirety of this track where you have to check up a little bit for. And then huh, up here, little it's, it's almost like a hip where it slightly goes to the right, but not really. And then, oh, we've got the big boy again. Let's not let the bumps mess us up too much. Round to the left, stretch out. Get on the brakes, lean back. Yes, there we go. And then hook into one of these nice little ruts there. So it's not... I mean, I have a two-minute, 20-lap time, but I think that takes my uh, pausing and going into replay to take a screenshot into account. It's not the longest track in the world, but when I was flying over top of it, it looked really long, but I'm guessing it's probably just because of how fast the damn thing is. I mean, when you're going around the track this quickly, it, it really isn't going to take long. I, I really want to try quad in this entire little on-off section here, but I'm not quite getting the uh, the drive that I need before it. This one was a big boy sender with an extra bit on the end. Yep. And then check up a little bit here. Oh, I'm going to miss the inside rut. That's fine. Don't want to risk it. Try slamming on the brakes and turning. Go to the left and then... Oh, I didn't take the outside. Uh, you're 100%. You can triple into that sand. Which I think might end up being the fast way as well. It's even on a 450 through that sand... I think you might be able to get away with like doubling your way through rather than skimming them like I am. And then you probably want to go inside in this corner because this is quite a small jump after it. There's no need to go all the way around the outside. Try this inside rut. Oh, hold on to it. Oh, we can only double now. Kind of want to... No, I want to turn around. I want to see if we can triple this one. If we row the outside, shift up the gears, stretch out. Oh my goodness. Um... I feel like that's 100% doable, but that is a hell of a stretch. That might be uh, more of a 450 line than anything. And surprisingly, I've, what I've seen so far is even if I fall out of the sky from super high up, for some reason I'm not getting all them weird Bibobo bounces like I usually would do. Maybe it's just a 250 thing versus a 450. It's been, been a while since I've hopped on the old 250. Get nice and steezy, land it flat by mistake, but still ride away from it. Love that. And then, oh god, I'm going to bounce into the bumps here. Could, might not survive. Oh, barely. And I'm just going to have to scrub this, treat it as a little double. And scrub off of that. Tight inside rut. Kind of, I want to give it another lap. Usually I feel like I'd only do, like, two laps or so of each one and then move on to the next. But I'm actually thoroughly bloody enjoying this. This is really, really good fun so far. And it does... I was saying in the video, I think it was on L21's last track on Silica Valley, that you kind of, you notice them same characteristics. Hang on, let me try recording this. Oh, clean! That was actually really satisfying. You notice the same characteristics from different track creators. And if you was to put this track and Swedish Midsummer Carnage side by side, I 100% could tell you that they were made by the same person. It's just the way that the ruts are formed, the way that the jumps are. I didn't really carry enough speed through there to be going triple, which is a shame. Uh, the only reason my front wheel tuck there was because we are in sand. He has got sand traction for the sand part, which uh, makes complete sense. We get up, we get nice and steezy. The camera goes inverted for some reason because the massive whips tend to do that. Um, I feel like that's an OEM thing, like the Beta 18 OEMs. I feel like that's only started happening recently. All right, let me try it. Rowling this corner once more. No, I couldn't. We just have to check up, double it as normal. Yes, that is definitely an awkward one. Um, like I said last lap, 100% doable on the 250, but much more manageable on the 450. Go round to the left, get up and absolutely send it again. Downside that, and then scrub into the triple, little double. It'd be nice, it'd be so much faster actually if you managed to hit that inside rut in this corner, because this jump here you haven't got to send whatsoever. And I've got the Erode on 0.8 for this, and you can see it's not making much of a dent. So do feel free to really crank up the Erode to your liking. Although I feel like it's one of them tracks that most people that play it, that really enjoy going flat out everywhere all the time, probably won't really be Erode players. So I imagine this will be played with without it completely. That is the most satisfying jump on the track, especially on a 250, just barely squeaking up and over it by dabbing on the brakes. And I mean, that would do it for the motocross track. I am going to move over to the main supercross and i'm gonna gonna cherish it i have a really really good feeling about this I, i'm 
It's what I've been looking forward to the most since I downloaded the track. Right, they both share the same start straight. So the Supercross goes off to the left here. And then the Mini Cross goes down to the right. It drops down a little bit, so that's that's quite cool. All these are raceable tracks as well. I believe all three of them have different uh, timing gates and splits. So they can all be raced online with your buddies. 100% uh, this track is going to find its way into some public lobbies that I do in the near future. So we've got a triple out of the corner there into a big old Supercross triple. Don't go over the bars. Triple in here. And then we're probably going to go step onto here, step off, and then... Oh, a bit of a, that's a bit of a weird section, actually. That's a weird number of uh, jumps in that room. Oh, God. Oh, whoops, are nice and straightforward. So you just lean off the back of it, no issues there. And then what's this one, big old soupy triple as well. I find that I seem to be overjumping things a little bit more than I expected. So if you're hopping on a 450, there might be a few uh, quad possibilities in here. And then this was the finish line jump, which I saw when I was cutting across the track to get here. Uh, and then it just hooks around back onto the start straight here. And you go again. Oh, suspension took that one like a champ as well. Double over that. Little single. Triple. Oh, God. And then big soupy triple again. It's actually... Um, it's a bit smaller than I thought it would be. Maybe, maybe this is the Mini X one. I can't lie to you. I literally... Uh, like I said, there was f there's three different versions of this for the uh, the timing. I just load up the motocross one. As you can see, we've got no track map at the top right. But I could even have it backwards, but we'll, we'll, we'll try all the tracks nonetheless. This one feels nice and straightforward. Um, it did say, actually, in the post uh, that this was quite a beginner-friendly Supercross track, which I'm going to kind of agree with. Uh, it seems like the triples out of the corners aren't much of a stretch at all. I want to try and send this and see what we end up with. Oh my Christ. I feel... You can 100% clear that whole section in two jumps. I need to try that. All right, let's try this again. Round to the left. I want to check up just a little bit. Oh my god, I didn't check up enough still. Um, okay, these jumps send you a lot higher and a lot further than I thought they would. And then if we don't get the best run in the corner, you can kind of cut down and just double your way through rather than trying to stretch out the triples. Uh, the super triples are quite small. You know, triple here. Uh, I, oh, I definitely think going step on, step off and singling into this corner is the move very small double and then these whoops are oh, i'd love all whoops to be this easy just get off the back of it and that's it you haven't got to try and modulate your leaning at all you haven't got to go back and forwards change the throttle just pin it and lean back and hope for the best then round to the right this is i mean this isn't really a whoop section if i'm honest it's just a little bit of rough on the track i just i want to hit this rhythm section in two goes it's just like essentially a quad quad but let's hit this a little bit slower there we go that's perfect quad quad all the way into the corner Get the corner nicely to get the triple out. And then I want to check up a little bit over this triple because I've been over jumping it every single lap. Try cutting down here, seeing what we can do. So go triple in, jump over, double. That's quite nice as well. It stops you having to single into the corner so you can carry a little bit more momentum that way. And then we've got our nice easy whoop section. Small double into the corner, hook around to the left. Another big soupy triple. So I've quite a few jumps to get nice and steezy on as well, which is always nice in a Supercross track. Try not to lock up the back brake into the corner. Last straight, big old finish line to throw some old whipper tails on. And that is the lap there. Let's finally, I mean third and finally, let's try whatever this is. I mean, let's experiment with it. I think this is the mini cross-ish track. And it's got some good elevation on it already. Let's go round to the left. Jump up. Oh, tabletop. Land it. Yep. Land it again. Oh, God, that was close. I think this is meant for like the small bikes. So I imagine riding a 125 around here would be quite fun. I think looking at it and looking at the scaling, hit bikes could be a really good time around here too. Uh, I 100% think that I should experiment with that at some point. Uh, especially the OTTM, uh, the, C like the CRF Big Ball, like 110. That could be really good. You 100% can clear that all in one go. That is uh, noted for next lap. And that, that, here we go. It's a very, very small track. Just double up to the top somehow, some way. Just get there eventually. Even this track, even though the, the scaling of it's on the small side because it's based off of a kid's track, IRL, it just seems like you can hold the bike really, really wide open almost everywhere. And I I feel like this is going to be one of them tracks that does become a crowd favourite. Uh, I know obviously it's a, it's a paid track as well, which is going to deter quite a few people off, as it always does. But I think out of those people that quite enjoy supporting the track creators and seeing these sorts of tracks, let me send it. 
clean, lovely. Yeah, it's 100% going to be one of the fan favourites. Uh, it does give me... It gives me kind of like Farm 14 slash Walnutty kind of vibes where people just hit things absolutely pinned everywhere. So it is suitable for all skill levels, which I think are some of the best tracks in the game, to be honest. It's like... You can ride around it as a beginner or an intermediate, or if you're a pro, you can try and find them just minute differences that might gain you a tenth here and there that really, really make the difference. And overall, it's just really, really impressive stuff. Uh, I knew that we'd see some more stuff from Hell Machine. I knew that it would be like really impressive as well. I just didn't know how soon it would come. I feel like it's uh, come a lot quicker than expected, especially... I'm going to call this a compound, and that's probably not a compound, but a place of this magnitude and scale where you've essentially got three tracks and it looks pretty enough as well. Just dotted around, just trees here and there. Nothing too crazy, nothing too over the top, but I'm personally a big fan. And you, you can tell, even just by like the stakes and the markers used around the track, that it is a Hell Machine track. And I just I don't know how else to praise it other than it just feels incredible to ride on. Something that you can ride without having to think too much. I think that's something that really appeals to a lot of people. You can just kind of hop on the game, ride around and, and shut your brain off. And I feel like that really is some of the best riding that you can do on this game, especially if you hop on with a friend or two and just ride around, especially on that massive motocross track with how big some of the jumps are, just get absolutely steezy and backwards. Um, but that'll do it for me. Hell Machine, you've done an incredible job here. I don't even know if he watches my videos, so that might be falling on deaf ears. But if he is listening, I want some more. As greedy as that may sound, this is really, really good, and I hope it's just a sign of things to come. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it as well. Let me know your thoughts if you've played it already. I know I'm uh, a day late on this. It just seems like there's been a lot of tracks coming out at once recently, but that'll do it from me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is that you're up to, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.